We're like six weeks in, right, at this point? No, we're only like three weeks in. Oh, well, it feels like six. <laughs> <laughs> no, every day with you is a joy. <laughs> <sighs> Before we decided to do van life, we were actually in an 1,100 square foot apartment with yeah, two bathrooms, two, bed, two, bath. two bedrooms, but also we were spending all our money on rent. And the rest of our money is going to credit cards from living as a 20-something, trying to keep up, and student loans. Moving into van life was about getting out of the debt we're in so we can start building a future. We have to figure out the best way to turn that around into what we want to see for ourselves. We have to do something about this. Internet, um, I, I'm sure this is expensive. We've reached out to the Matneys because we know they're super experienced in van life. We're the Matneys. And we just spent four years straight out on the road in our converted Sprinter van. We started educating people financially about how to live on the road because we made a lot of mistakes a ourselves. Lots <laughs> of mistakes because we hadn't really figured the lifestyle out. What do you think we can help you guys with? We keep finding ourselves in a position where we feel like we have to do everything. Yeah. And it's costing us a lot of money. And also, we're not paying this giant rent check. Yes. And, you know, with the van build and everything over, in which direction do we push our money right. and gain control and understand it more? You're putting your home through an earthquake every day, and you need to have a budget ready to go beforehand. It'll save you a lot of headache. So our top priority on the road is to have $5,000 set aside for the van that if something goes wrong, we know we have the cash on hand. We made a list of literally every single bill that we had, crossed out everything except for six bills at one point. You really don't need much, right? <laughs> the biggest thing for them is to really take a good look at what are their actual needs and how can they kind of reallocate their money to reflect that. I'm actually a little nervous. <laughs> yeah. Like, I what know. are we gonna have to get rid of? All the little payments that add up. Mm hmm. Credit card payment, auto payment. Oh, and internet. <laughs> oh, yeah. <Duh>. That. <laughs> I think the thing we really love about van life is the freedom. We're untethered from an apartment, we are untethered from expectations. We've been doing everything as we should. And what if we did things as we wanted to? So how did it go building your budget? We <laughs> slashed some items that were hard to slash. Congrats, guys. Yeah. You guys are like flying already. It took us yeah. a year plus to do any of this. Going really slowly is great as well because then you're not spending all this money on gas and right. stuff like that. We have known so many people jump into this. And if people are together on something, they always love it. We'll definitely see you guys out on the road sometime. Absolutely. Thank you again Thank you so, so much. much. Guys. Of course, right. guys. All right, see, see you guys. soon. After the last three days, I feel a lot more confident going into our financial situation now that we're yeah. living in the van. And having the Matinees as a resource now, as friends, is going to be great. And they're also proof that, you know, it can be done. Don't do what anyone else has done because you've seen it work. Do what's going to work for you. Whatever it is, an alternative lifestyle, there's a million different ways to do things. This just worked for us. This is what worked for us.